be making bases. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as turn on those bell notifications so you know when we're going to post because we're coming back to back. Now, today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix audio that has like a break in it or a pop in it. And that's messing up the overall value of your beat and the value of your uh, sound here. So to give you a demonstration, I'm going to let you hear this uh, audio file and then I'm going to give you a quick fix on what you could do to, you know, eliminate like a pop or a break in your audio. So let's just listen to it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> So you heard that big break right there. I don't know if it's like with the guitar, maybe they hit something while they were playing it or something, or somehow it wasn't recorded right or something. But um, anyway, there is a break or pop in the, um, in the audio here. And it's actually gonna mess up the way this beat sounds when it loops. I'm gonna let y'all hear it one more time. Let's check it out. So what's that pop right here? It's pop sound. and so. Basically, to fix this, you want to first off identify where it is in the audio file. Um, you could take your playhead like this and then drag and drop it or, or just move it over to where you see the, the, um, the pop, where the basically the basic vicinity of the pop. Um, then I would recommend that you kind of zoom into it like so. And there's a couple of different things you're going to want to keep in mind here. First of all, you're going to want to use your tools. So if you push the letter T, on your keyboard, you can pull up all your tools. And the tool we're gonna wanna pull up is the fade tool. So you can push T and then the letter A, and it's gonna uh, select your fade tool, okay? From here, you wanna go into where the pop is going and identify, hey, do I wanna chop it up in, this, in the beginning, the middle, or the end of this particular issue that we're seeing here? So let's just see, uh, let's listen to it one more time and see where would be best place for this. So like right here in the middle of this, let's zoom in just a little bit more. At the point where it's the highest, basically I can just click on this and do Command T. And it's gonna chop these two uh, pieces off. And I can just basically do a fade here. And sometimes you can get it easily, but then sometimes you have to do a little bit more to it. But let's just see if it, we can fix it just like this. cool so I know that's not where it's at it's cool um, what I can do now as well is instead of doing this this slope like this do you know do something like that all right cool so since it's um, still popping a little bit I know that I need to move this and adjust this a little bit so what I'll do is push T again I go to the pointer tool and then I'm going to go over here and just scroll this over like this. Let's see, maybe just like the very beginning of this part. Let's see if that fixed it. All right, so that's a little better. Let's pull up our fade tool again. I'm going to move this one out just a little bit more. So that's gonna be a whole lot better sounding, right, than that original pop. I could kind of tuck that into the beat, to be honest with you, to the point where nobody can actually even tell it's there compared to over here where that pop is. You can't hide that. So I'm gonna play uh, the portion of this audio with the pop and I'm gonna play the portion of the audio without the pop. And of course I can come in here and keep on working with this until I find that perfect, perfect little, you know, blend between those two but i feel like i got it solid enough that i can keep it moving so let's just keep it uh, let's listen to the one with the pop over here because it's popping every single time this uh guitar loop uh loops 
So let's just listen to it over here. Very noticeable and very will, will definitely be pointed out in the beat if someone's listened to this. But let's listen to this over here. Does dip a little bit, you kind of can tell, but like, like I said, like I say, if I put this with some of the rest of the beat, you know, let me see here. So, you know, with the beat, you can't hear it at all for sure. But I want you to listen to it now, like say with the pop, you're gonna definitely be able to hear that. You see what I'm saying? So you can hear it here. But over here, when we did the fade, use the fade tool to kind of fade that pop or crack out or break in this audio, you can't hear it. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that tip out to uh, the community here. Appreciate y'all getting subscribed to the channel. Appreciate y'all liking the videos and all those type of things. And I definitely appreciate anyone who's gone to my site, Beat Making Basics, brought a course off of it, a loop pack, drum pack, or even did some one-on-one -on -one services where I, you know, I have this one-on-one -on -one training service or whatever. But anyway, uh, make sure that you get subscribed if you're brand new to my channel. And I will continue to be dropping tips and tricks like this right here in Logic Pro 10. See you in the next video. We're out.